I'm Joel Beakey from Puritan Reform Theological Seminary, and I'm also Editorial Director of Reformation Heritage Books. And I'm very concerned about some of the books that have been published recently that deny the existence of hell and eternal punishment and argue from the universal love of God as if God would never send anyone to hell. If you were to drive along a road with 245 road signs warning you not to go in that direction because there's danger ahead, you'd be foolish to do it, wouldn't you? Well, there are 245 verses that indicate the reality of hell in the Bible. And each of them is like a road sign along our life, calling us to repent from sin, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and to flee to God's gospel grace. And so we need to understand that the doctrine of hell is a very, very important doctrine in the Bible. You can't just excise it from the scriptures and not deny the whole counsel of God. Hell is actually a place of radical loneliness. It's a place of separation from the favor of God. It's a place where no one will have companionship. Everyone will be dying yet never dead. It's a place of tragedy. It's a place we need to warn people not to go. And they don't need to go there if they believe in the gospel with all their heart. There's been a great book written about the subject of hell by Ed Donnelly. It's called Heaven and Hell. It's available from Reformation Heritage Books, uh, heritagebooks.org. And it has four messages on hell that everyone needs to read. One giving you the biblical definition and the biblical proof support texts of hell, and the others talking to you about the terribleness of hell and what hell will be like. And today, that message needs to be sounded again, not only in books, but also from the pulpit, as well as in personal and private evangelism. If you remove the doctrine of hell, you're actually going to take away from evangelizing other people and bringing missions to the end of the world, because hell puts a note of urgency into evangelistic and mission work. So let's Bring the whole counsel of God, and let's maintain the doctrine of hell, which is so clearly testified about in Matthew 25 and many other places in the Bible.